Okay, this is a continuation to the previous lesson which deals with for loops, okay? So, last time we programmed this button to do what? To draw, to add things to the list, different examples of a for loop. Today, we will program this button to draw 50 lines on the screen every time we click on the draw button. And it will draw the objects randomly on the screen. We'll draw from the middle point to other points random in the, uh, in the form. All right, so we need to draw a line. We need four variables. So I'm going to call those int x1, x2, and y1, y2. And because we're going to use a counter, we're going to use uh, a loop, I'm going to define another variable called count, which is called int count. All right. So we're done with the variables, but we need, because we are doing drawing and random numbers, we need two things. One is for the graphics and one for the random number. So we create an object graphics, so we call that graphics. G graphics <laughs> and what random. random right first let's initialize G to the current to to create we ask uh, the form to create the graphics for us so we say G dot this create graphics okay so this will initialize the graphics object G to the graphics object that is on the form. Next is what? Next is that we need a random number. So I need to define my random uh, generator, which is random random r equal new random. Now we can use this in my class to generate different random points. Okay, so now we're ready to do the form, the for loop. So in my for loop, I'll say for count. We wanted to do it, repeat this 50 times. So I say from one for count equal one, semicolon count is less than or equal to 50. And then every time, what do we do? We say count plus plus, we add one to count. And here's my loop. Inside my loop, what do we do? First, we generate random numbers, in the x2, y2, and then we draw them. But how about x1 and y1? Because we want to draw from the middle point, I need to initialize x1 and y1 to the middle of the screen. How do we do this? We do this we, by using the properties width and height of the form. So I say x1, we say this, dot, this refers to the current form we're in, dot, width divided by 2. And same thing with y1, it's equal to the this, dot, height divided by 2. This will give me the middle point of my form. That way I guarantee that x1 and y1 will always start from the middle point of my form. Now inside the loop, we need for x2 and y2, we, gen we need to generate random numbers. So we say x2 equal what? r dot next. Next what? A number that has to be between the 0 or 1 and the width of the form. Why? Because you want your point to be inside the form. Otherwise, if you make it negative or bigger than the width, it will be outside the form. So we'll say here what? Away between one and, or zero, doesn't matter, this dot width. This will give me a point between 
1 and the width of the form. Same thing with y2. We say it's equal to r dot next. A number again between what and what? 1 and this dot height of the form. All right. Finally, all I have to do is uh, do the drawing, which I say draw line. And then we need to give it the pin color and the points, which, is, which are what? x1, y1, x2, y2. So I say pins dot red. Do you want red? Let's say green. I like green. Okay, then x1, y1, x2, y1, x2, y2. All right. That's all we have to do. How many times do we do this? How many times we do this? From 1 to 50. All right, let me put it on pause. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and run this form and see what happens. Before I run it, I'm going to back, go back to the form because I want to change the background color of my form to black. So it, the green and the black give you a nice... Uh, effects. So in the property, select the form, in the property, change the background color to black. Okay. Now, if you want to make this, you can make it bigger if you want. Make it bigger and then move this around and then let's see, run, it, run the form. Run your project. Notice what happens now. When I click on this, how many lines do I get? 50 lines. Why 50 lines? Because in the loop, we say from 1 to 50. Every time, and notice these lines are where? Not in the same position. Because we are using random. If we did not use random, they will be in a position or we have to change the values. So now if I draw again, you draw again, every time it draws 50 lines. All right? Then how do we make it automatic? Timer. We use timer. Okay, let me give you a minute to get this to work and then I'll show you how to do the timer. Okay? Resume. Okay, what we want to do is that we want to add another button just to clear the background okay how do we do this if you go to the form let's add another button here control copy and control v so we have a draw right and in the property change that to say clear where's the property what happened is it running? It's not running, so why? The properties are not showing. <laughs> anyway, this, is, this should say form design. Um, there is a problem with the form. Let me open it up again. Here is the form and then select this and go to the property. This one should say clear. Type, how do you do a clear screen? One way, what is the background color? Black. One way is that you draw a rectangle, fill rectangle, the size of the screen, and then with the same color as the background, and then that would clear the screen. So this is my area, right? If I draw a black rectangle, the size of this form, what happened to the background? It's cleared if I use the same background color. So what do you do? Basically, you do the same thing. You go to du double click on the clear. We do the same thing. We create the graphic objects. We say gra uh, graphics G equal, uh, we do it on one line, equal this dot create graphics, right? We do it on one line. 
Now, all I have to do, we just say g dot, not draw rectangle, there's something called fill rectangle. What is the difference between draw and fill? Fill, it will fill the whole thing inside and the borders, but draw, it only draws the border. So when I say fill rectangle, now I have to use brush, not pins. I use brush. Dot. And then uh, brush. No. Let me try that. I'm going to put this on pause for a minute. All right, so we select the brushes, and then next we do what? We select the color that we want. In this case, it's black. All right, you can select different color that you want. So what does that do? Sorry, we need to give it what? The width and the height, the starting position and the ending position, which is what? From point zero zero to the width and the height of the rectangle, which is what? The form. This dot width, and then this dot height. So what does that do now? What does this do? It says that I'm creating the creating graphic objects, but I want to fill a rectangle. What is the size of the rectangle? I want to use the background background color. And the size, because when you're drawing a rectangle, you have to give it the starting point, and how much is the width, and how much is the height. So we start from zero, zero. This dot width, the width of the form, and this dot height, the, the height of the form. So it would draw the whole thing. It would fill the whole rectangle, the whole form. Now, if we run this, I draw 50 line, I draw 50 line. Now watch, when I hit the clear, it clears the form. Why did I clear the form? Because I drew a black rectangle over everything I have. Okay, so you draw this and then you do clear. It, huh? We didn't do the list, we're just doing the graphics part. You can do the same thing with the list. Okay? All right? All right, so the next part is that we want to actually automate this drawing so we don't have to click on the button every time we want to draw. We wanted to make the computer draw it automatically. And the way you do this, if you go to the form design and we add what from the toolbox, we add timer. Okay, in the timer, we need to change the property to do what? If you look at the property of the timer, we need to make it enable true right otherwise if you don't make it true it will not work now double click on the code for the timer and all we want to do the code that we've done in the button draw button i'm going to copy it and paste it in the timer this is all we're going to do so copy the code that is in the button and paste it in the timer. Now, run it. How many, how many lines every time it will print? It will draw 50 lines. Every tenth of a second, it will draw 50 lines. If you want to make it less, let's say 20 lines every tenth of a second, let's see what happens. No, it will not stop. It, it's doing it what? Automatically. Because we put it in the timer. Every time I'm drawing 20 lines in my case. All right? If you click on the clear, it clears the screen. All right? If you want to, if you want to draw less lines, Instead of 10 lines, 20 lines, you can make it 10 lines. So it does not fill the screen altogether. 
I'll check it in a minute, okay? So now, your screen, notice when you, your form is bigger, what happens to the form? The center point changes, so it draws from a different point. All right, let me put it on pause and see what the problem is. Okay, so that is the uh, end of this lesson. That is the end of the lesson. And uh, next time we will cover uh, arrays. Okay, so this is uh, the end of the four uh, loop lessons.